Hello, welcome to Cello Tuesdays. I'm Diane Chaplin, and today's program is called Nordic Nook, in which I'm going to play music from the five main countries that make up the Nordic region. Uh, I first want to mention that Portland Cello Project will be on tour a bunch in April. We were on tour in March and we are having a little hiatus before the next round. We're going to be in Montana, Idaho and moving out to the Midwest, out to Chicago. So come see us, look at our website to see what tickets are available and come say hi at a concert if you do come. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to start in Sweden and I'm going to play a piece by a composer named Erland von Koch. He died in 2009, he was almost 99 years old when he died, and it was said that every day, even through his 90s, he either composed or studied music. He was an ardent uh, studier of music as well as a composer. And he was very well known in Sweden as a composer. He wrote a lot of things, including a cello concerto and a lot of music for Swedish film. Uh, he did use a lot of folk music in his uh, writing, and his, his works were known as uncomplicated. Uh, so the piece that I'm going to play today is called Monologue Number 17, which sounds a little bit like robot music, which it's very much not. Um, and the subtitle is Monologue on Swedish Folk Tunes, uh, or Monologue on a Swedish Folk Tune, excuse me. Um, and I think that uh, this piece sort of embodies one of the, the quotes about him, which is that he always kept the melody. So I think you'll find this very melodic. It's a set of variations on a Swedish folk tune. Monologue number 17 by Erland von Koch. <laughs>
So folk songs and folk music are a little bit of the thread that runs through this program. The next thing I'm going to play is a medley that I put together myself of Icelandic folk songs. Uh, a man named Martin Frewer, who I believe is originally British, but now he plays uh, in the orchestra in uh, Iceland and Reykjavik. He posted online uh, a bunch of lot of string quartet arrangements of Icelandic folk songs. And so I took those and made them be for solo cello um, in, in little bits and pieces of them uh, and, and kind of strung them together and turned it into this mudley that I'm going to play of Icelandic folk songs. But I want to also mention that I'm wearing a necklace today in honor of Iceland uh, that I bought in Iceland that's made out of volcanic rock from Iceland. So I wanted to point that out as I'm about to play the Icelandic music. Um, there's, a, I think there's six folk songs uh, that I put together and made this sort of ongoing medley. So hope you enjoy this folk song medley uh, based on arrangements by Martin Frewer. <laughs> Thank you. 
recently written piece on this program, but it is a very, very romantic piece. <clears throat> it doesn't sound contemporary at all. It is written by a violist who plays in the Oslo Philharmonic, and I, I apologize if this is not how you pronounce his name, Povilis Sirist Gelgota, uh, and it is called Vocalese, and he, uh, Gelgota has um, Sirist, I'll call him Povilas, I think that's his first name. Povilas has uh, posted online very graciously for free, uh, a bunch of his music, and he's written a lot of solo cello pieces. Um, this one is just very beautiful. His music's really, really romantic. I think you would call him neo-romantic. Um, it almost sounds a little French. So this is out of the folk song uh, line for sure. This is Vocalist by Povilas Sirist Gelgota.
So we're gonna move to Denmark. Are you keeping track of all, did you, did you know the five Nordic countries before we started? Good job for you if you're keeping track. So this is Denmark. Um, and it's a piece by a man named Paul Ruders. Um, and I, I just want to read a little bit about him. So uh, his bio says that he lives a Spartan life in the countryside of Denmark. And this isolation has afforded him the opportunity to do a lot of composing. In other words, he like lives out in the middle of nowhere in a cold place. It doesn't sound like my favorite thing, but this is one of those artistic things. You know, it's that he's, he, he lives far away from the world uh, in a place where he can do his art. And he's written a lot of music uh, and is, has, has a really nice following in Denmark. Um, the piece that I'm gonna play is called L'Homme Arne, which is a, uh, based on a 15th century French ch chanson. So it's not exactly a folk tune, but it's something old. Um, that uh, the and the words the, so it means the armed man the the title and the words are basically like be afraid the armed man because he's armed, um, but it's a really really lovely lovely tune uh, and I want to read you what the composer has said about the this piece actually the the excuse me the, the name of the piece is not uh, L'homme armé the name of the piece is Bravour Studien I am misrepresenting it and Bravour Studien is um, a reference to the piano some of the piano works of Franz Liszt it means bra like bravura study. So that is actually important information here. Okay, so the composer says, I have taken the ancient tune, meaning the French chanson, by the hair and hauled it through a gauntlet of various stylistic and evocative variations. The man, harnessed with cello and bow, is fencing his way through several virtuoso variations, occasionally with a somewhat shady appearance, thus emphasizing the latent hollowness inherent in this sort of music. So in other words, he wrote this piece that's sort of a virtuoso piece to make fun of virtuoso pieces because he thinks they are inherently hollow. Um, and so the things that he does in this piece, I, this, it's, it's an odd piece because it um, sounds serious, but there's a huge tongue and cheek quality the whole time. So if you think things are funny, you are correct. Um, there are jazzy bits, there's singing, there are these classical cadences that, that are very ironic and seemingly out of place, juxtapositions of things that flip from one thing to another all quickly, little virtuoso licks, some mandolin strumming, um, and he, the composer requests that the titles of the, of the variations be announced, so you'll hear me do that. Um, it, it begins and ends with the French, French chasson. It's a very, very long piece, and I'm not going to play the whole thing because of that. Uh, in the original, I think there's nine variations with repeats, and I'm going to play only four of the variations without the repeats. So I'm going to make it a lot shorter than it's really supposed to be, and hopefully no one will care. Uh, so this is Bravour Studien by Paul Ruders. <laughs> Thank you. 
Serenade One. Fantasia.
taking my mute on and off the cello, which is something that um, changes the sound quality. <clears throat> kind of closed it down when I when I put it on for that one variation. And I'm going to play another piece that has a lot of um, interesting sounds. So if you're if you're keeping track and you counted your countries, there that was four. The fifth one is Finland, uh, and I'm going to play two things actually from Finland. I'm going to end the program with a set of variations, not based on a, a folk song or an old song, but on something that sounds kind of like an older song. Uh, this is a set of variations by the very famous Finnish composer Jan Sibelius. He is, uh, I think, without question, the most renowned romantic uh, and early 20th century Finnish composer. He wrote this set of variations in 1887 when he was only 22 years old. He wrote it for his brother. It was not ever published in his lifetime. And, and it has kind of an, a slightly unfinished quality about it. There aren't very many dynamics or tempo markings or bowings and it's so one might suspect that he never actually intended to have it published but he didn't throw it away so good news is that we have it to play and it's a lovely lovely piece based on a melody that I believe he wrote. Um, before that I'm going to play another Finnish piece by Kaya Sayaho. Um, this is a piece called Set Papillon and I'm not going to play the whole thing. Um, Set Papillon means seven butterflies. I'm going to play the first butterfly. Uh, Kaya Sariaho is, um, she is one of the most renowned uh, living composers right now and certainly from, from Finland she's the most renowned female composer. Uh, and she is, she wrote this piece in the year 2000. She is really uh, known for working collaboratively with performers and one of the people she's worked with the most is Ansi Kartunen who is just a fantastic fantastic Finnish cellist uh, really a, a proponent of contemporary music he has had so many things written for him and including this piece um, and they together kind of developed a lot of really really interesting techniques to make different sounds on the cello so papillon means butterfly and so this is about butterflies. It's very, very short, um, but I think you will not miss the, the fluttering references that uh, fill the entire piece. So this is the first butterfly, the first papillon, number one, by Kaya Sayaho, followed by the variations for solo cello by Jan Sibelius.
And thus ends our voyage to the Nordic countries. Thank you so much for listening. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on camera. It's always this is always the awkward part because I'd like to go look at the um, comments, <laughs> but my computer's far away. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. It's a little too awkward. I'm going to say goodbye. I will read all the comments and respond to everybody. Thank you so 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 much for listening, uh, and see you next time. So next next uh, month is May. And I'm going to do Slavic roots, including some Ukrainian music, uh, but other areas in the in the Russian uh, previous Soviet Union kind of area. Uh, and then in the first Tuesday of June, I'm going to play the music of Giovanni Solima. And if you've never heard it, you want to tune in for that because that's it's kind of like rock and roll cello. Okay, bye. <laughs>